pray with me, please? Dear God, we are reminded that this is a hard job that these people have to do the work and the business of governing in St. John's. So we ask for your direction and wisdom and ask that you give them courage to ask you what decisions are right for the people of St. John. Lead and guide them this evening and in their future meetings too. Under additions to the agenda, we have the executive session for now, um, Chad Fisher under citizen comments, and um, city attorney resignation letter that will go under the business. Are there any other additions to the agenda? Take away from that at all. 
I'm just uh, we're asking permission to, to uh, comply the best we can, but yet not a solid strip. Solid strip being here. Yes, that uh, that 40 foot there is what I'm asking you to consider to allow us to leave open because that's where everybody walks, whether it's across the street to their car or out to our angle parking lot. But that that eight foot that I have marked there, that would be the brick. That was going to be my question. That was where you were intended on putting just the brick right there. Right. Okay. okay. How wide is that, Chad? Four foot, two, three foot? I think it's around two, two foot. Two foot. It's what's there right now. Is that what you're saying? Only you would just go the eight right. foot on either side instead of clear three. Right. Okay. Right. So. How wide is it now? Two foot? Yeah, we we'll put it back the same width, the same dimension, the same, probably use the same brick. Just not make it, just not go no ball. That's what we'd like to do. Well, would we have to have some type of uh, variance on that? I don't all? think so. Chad and I visited about this, and I asked him to come and talk to council. It was, you know, like I say, it was the theme of the design of the Main Street at that time, and I understand what he's saying as far as north side and all that so he's willing to keep you know keep keep an area there to kind of keep with that right. just keep it open there that's there's actually uh there's a fire hydrant there and there's yellow marking and up at the other end where the uh bank driveway is there's also manual parking there so it is really where it's at it's not going to be a real problem for people walking in and out but still kind of keeps it decorative right uh, Around I think that would be fine as long as we're doing those for safety. I mean, that's absolutely a okay with me. So, yeah, yeah that's the whole intent. Yeah. Does anyone else have any What are you like? Oh, Troy and I had another meeting with the 48, 48 hours community involvement. <laughs> that ran long. I don't see anything wrong with it. Neither do I. To catch you up, Kevin, the bank is doing some concrete work and they're asking our approval to not put back in the two foot perk strip and the 40 feet that's directly in front of the entrance. Yeah, it sounds good to me. It's for the better. To make a motion or can we just do a consent or just a. Yeah, it, it can be a consent. I don't think it's, it's not changing policy or anything, but it will be recorded in minutes if it's consent. So then I, I think I'm hearing the consent from everyone. Okay. Thank you for understanding. Listening. Thank you. All right. Consent agenda. Approved minutes for the regular meeting of 8 5 2014. Approved uh, uh, minutes of the workshop for 8 12 2014. Approved appropriation ordinance 0819 in the amount of $15,903.53. Ordinance number 125, standard traffic ordinance. Ordinance number 126, uniform public offense code. And number six, request by city of Friesen to block off the streets of Monroe and 5th from 9.15 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. on October 1st, 2014 for the grades 1 through 4 by city of Rubio. Is there any discussion? The two ordinances, that's the standard thing that we've done. Yeah. Yes. Any other questions? Okay. Yes. So moved. Second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries 5-0. Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah, I'd like to request a 10-minute executive session for non-elected personnel. Uh, to discuss uh, street department positions with council and myself, John. And Sweet. Second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Okay. Opposed? Motion carries by vote. I'll make a motion to accept Mike Leroy's. Resignation effective the uh, 17th of September. And I 
And I make second. I'll second that motion. Is there any further discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Motion carries 5-0. And I'll make another motion to move Ruben Martin. Martin up to the street parks format with the wage increase taking to $17 an hour and six months for all period and after that if, if it works then we can discuss the wage increase at that point. And the wage increase will be effective? The wage increase will be effective. Yeah, 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 the 25th. this with him at the time uh, he looked at the roof and gave us a price uh, but just came he just came in today and said uh, he was not going to be able to do the requirements so uh, I visited Julianne and I, so I think what I'll do is check our uh, other contractors that are licensed with the city that have roofing listed as one of their jobs that would do to see if he would have anyone that would in compliance with that at this time. If not, uh, we can go ahead and just advertise the great band or as far as that goes, the Pratt or whoever we tend to advertise and see if we can get another price on that. And we'll just use the specifications that uh, we have down as far as how the roof will be prepared for the board. So, we need to specify who needs to get done pretty quick, but we're still so, ready. You have no more damage occurred, you know, than necessary. We sent, um, Julianne signed, signed the agreement that came from um, Wells Fargo. Um, I got an email today saying that everything looked good, yay, <laughs> and that probably within three days we should have the final um, agreement. I don't know that that means we'll have the title in it yet, but we're getting close. We wouldn't necessarily have to have the title to start as long as they gave us that okay. everything was cleared, right? Well, they've said. I mean, if somebody could start it before, start then, which yeah. I haven't even been able to. Were there any other questions with regards to the property? <clears throat> uh, we've gotten uh, some information in regard to the automated meter reading. Uh, I don't know if you remember Kyle Unruh. HD Waterworks, the first guy that came to the council. Uh, we've gotten some prices from him. I visited with him. Uh, and I visited with uh, Salina Supply, and we should, they're, they're closed within three days. I don't know what the hiccup was, but anyway. So by next meeting, we should have the information for that. In checking out some of the references for uh, the Salina Supply, some cities that have used there, I was talking to some other uh, supervisors dealing with water and whatnot, and didn't even know this was out there, and so started investigating it today. There's, and this is really, really new, just really coming out, is that what they do is they use cell phone technology rather than using a radio. They use cell phone technology to transmit the information. It actually sends a text to a website. In other words, there's no, no drive-by radio read or anything like they that. They use a cell phone tower. Cell phone tower. It sends, it sends it when it's time to read the meter or any, send any information. It just basically sends a text to a website, and that's where the information is. So a meter read time. And it also does, you can set it up to do uh, you know, the other other functions that the radio would do. The only thing we're doing is, is using uh, cell, cell technology. 
some of the information I have so far is the cost of this per meter per year is 50 cents for, for to use the data. The data to be transmitted. Now, there's an upfront cost, uh, like $3,400 to, you know, they, this is super rising. So that would be an upfront cost. There's also a cost that you couldn't remember what it was as far as uh, the information as far as setting up the, the website and how, how that work. So it's it's really it's, it's, it's really new. Some of these I've talked to several different cities and they've got just they put in a few meters just to see how it's working and so far they're they're satisfied. So But we'd still be looking at replacing all the meters. Yes, that that would not be all away. That would not go away. That, that may be a downside, possibly. And you know, Salina Supply indicated that they could put their radio on the end of a rebar down inside the, the pit, and the signal would get out. Uh, one city I talked to said they had a little issue with uh, getting the signal out. They they've got some of a school of vault where they've got some meter, a meter, two inch meter in there, and it wasn't able to. You know how cell phones can be at times. Anyway, so they had to put an external antenna on that. So we may have to go and put uh, the, the antenna or something in the, in the you know, we weren't going to have to do that with uh, the badger meter, but we may may have to do something different. So that you know that would be an added cost. So it might be a trade-off. I think it's worth looking at maybe you know, as far as uh, uh, what what's out there. And, Maybe a better, might be a better. I don't know. Does that correlate with that? Maybe you don't know. Does that core that website correlate it back to our software? Right. And actually, I, he they, he talked to them and they actually knew of CIC. CIC yes. They're both Colorado companies, and so um, I haven't got to talk to CIC to see if they recognize that company when I would talk to them about it. So um, it's a it's a new technology in some ways. Trying well, it would be to better than radios if, it, if you're using cell phones. Me. It may be. It might be the the next thing coming. And what if we what, spend all this money on that, something uh, that was? Will that correlate back? They use to the our cloud, electric? though. So you know, I don't know. Pardon? Can we tie the electric in with that also? Yes. Now, he. I think it's going to be a, a kind of a similar thing to like. Uh, how bad your or Salina Supply and they were going to work with uh, Ron Ferg, you know, with Stanions. They they really didn't, you know, they, if you remember, like I said, they really don't do that, but they work with Stanions mm -hmm. to make this happen. And he, he said that's, he didn't say Stanions or anything like that. He said, we work with other meter companies that we can do the water and electric that the same. It can be done. So, and I guess I do. Uh, Anybody wants to look at it and make copies or whatever. I guess. They did send us a brochure. I could. Are you talking about this stuff? From yeah. And I did send an email. There it is, right there. So I can email that to you as well. And send the website. You can send this to me. Yes, that's from the T2 or whatever technologies. The technologies, yeah. So Transparent Technologies is a new company. Either one with internet, we look at it. We did keep track of the uh, meter reading this time, as far as how long it took, and it took you know, right at 34 man hours to, to read. So, yes. And that's not counting any rereads. Bill, uh, are any of the households uh, within St. John, are they going to be looking at any additional costs? No, uh, this will be no cost to either all of us. Okay. Well, can we raise the rates again? <laughs> so, but anyway, I think it's interesting enough to, they, this guy is going to be in Topeka on the 40, let's say 25th, 26th, 26th, 25th. They're doing a seminar up there with the Kansas. AWWA, but he also said that he comes through this area, so I'm going to, if you're interested, I can set up another workshop similar to what we did last time if you want to. So, I mean, they, 
while we're at this, I think we need to look look at everything out there. Maybe you know, maybe this is something we want to try to take a step back a little bit, or, or just you know, because it, it is. I've never heard of technology. As soon as you buy something, that it's it's outdated. Yeah. You know, we, we need to really, I think, we really need to, to look at everything. And he did make this guy did make the comment that uh, Badger is just now they're just because we're ahead of them. <laughs> you know, we're they're they're looking at this now. And I did come and talk to uh, uh, Salon Supply. Says yes, we're, we're we're working on that type thing. So they're they're it, it's an up and coming thing. That's all I have. The only thing I have is um, it's time to do this game right now at your edge. to make sure that's how you want to still do it now. I don't think that he's interested in doing it this year, so we'll be looking at a new manager no matter what. So I'll be getting that in the paper. Should we do it a little sooner next sure. year? typically open the ring? Not until usually about September, okay. which we should be. Yes, we should have done this. Okay. I had intentions, but I just didn't. And that's really all I had. Unless you guys have something. New business. Um, citizen request that we look into our solid waste ordinance with regards to individuals and in town who own businesses who are being charged for refuse service at their businesses and then also being charged at home even though they're not using their stuff at home they're taking everything to the business to dispose of it um, don't know if this is something that council wants to consider um, I can see some logic to it you know if you've got a two cubic yard bin at your place of business and you don't like throwing bag trash in the back of your truck and hauling it down to your business to dispose of it and the truck's not having to stop to pick up trash at your home you know I could see making a case for that but ultimately it's council's decision and I wanted to at least start the conversation what I made copies of was the ordinance that was put together when they established the fund to put the collection of the fee into it and it does state on it it says to collect solid waste disposal fees from all occupied residences and businesses that's classified as a business we, we signed that contract with them just recently um, why can't we get out of collecting and just let let the citizens? I mean, they'd have to use the African trash service, but if they don't want a trash pickup, then that would be between them and the trash service instead of us making an ordinance on this anyway. Because then you're going to end up with people who have piles and piles and piles of trash around certain places in the community because they're not going to want to pay a trash bill. Or you're going to have businesses that have people dumping their residential trash in the businesses' bins where they can get to them. Better recapitalize. Yeah. Uh, and I, you know, I think the uh, trash service pays by the pound a ton. And we pay them by the facility or the dumpster or the or the bin or the bucket yeah. bin. Yeah. So, the account. Yeah. And, and the way that we, Does since it, I've been here in 96, and Mel can attest to this as well, is the way it was determined of occupation, the occupied, was if they had um, services on for electric and water and or, you know, you could make the logical assumption that that was you know, otherwise they wouldn't have those services okay so if they had services then this was a part of it if just add it on we only pay by the tone or pound or whatever no we don't 
We pay by the meter. By the meter. <clears throat> no, yeah, we pay by the by the account by each premise that. When we pay out. Stafford County Trash Service, so do we pay them by the pound or do we pay them by per location? Per location. Plus a dollar. So if if we did this. I mean, minus a dollar. We keep a dollar of it for our bill. Right. But what I'm saying is, is if, say I don't want, I can haul mine out to our location. So, or, and I don't want trash service. Does the city still have to pay for my location since we're already in contract? Even though I'm telling you, you don't have to. Well, we, would, we wouldn't allow you not to have trash service. If but you didn't want to put your trash out. If we do this, we would. Well, this is this says that we have to charge you if well, you choose not to do it that, that way. Yes. Are we still going to have to pay Stafford County Trash Service, even though we're not collecting from that location? It would depend on your agreement with Stafford County Trash. You know, can you and get, how can you get the agreement with Stafford yeah. County Trash? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It. I mean. I, I guess I, think I wouldn't what have, you're trying to say is I don't want to I don't want the city to pay for that location right. and we're not collecting it from the citizen. If, right. if the citizen didn't want to pay it, we don't have to pay it, then I guess. Yeah, like, like I have one dumpster, my wife and I use it at the shop, and my RV park uses it, and my tenant there has a little rail house there. And he uses it. It so, all goes into the same so location. By this you should be paying three different ones, right? And we are. Oh, you are? Yeah. I pay my house, I pay my RV park, I pay Davis Electrical, and my land tenant pays his. And maybe that one else. Yeah. I've never, I've never questioned it because it's by the pound. You know, they're going to, the, the, this trash service is going to pay it no matter what. And it's just the way that, yeah, I, maybe I'm getting overcharged. But I've never questioned it. But according to the ordinance, you're you're doing the correct thing. That's right. Until you change that, that's the way it should be. But what is considered a business? Because the one we're talking about is not a it's, business. It's we that pay the higher electric rate. That's <laughs> what the business is. I would assume. I, mean, I would assume since... If, if we've got, like, if, so if we have a commercial tier for our electric rates, is then what I'm assuming. So if we're charging them for a commercial rate, then we would consider them a business. But what if we aren't charging a commercial rate? I mean, do we charge like the banks and? Now you get to pick what size of trash container you want to pay. You can pay for a 55 gallon or 30 gallon or whatever they, I don't know what the increments are, or you pay for the one yard or the five yard. That's all you get charged. Right. But the thing is, is with residential, there isn't any. I mean, it's whatever you put out on the curb. Right. So, so you pay your shop resident uh, commercial. Or be part of commercial. In your house resident. You're making me feel right there putting up one dumpster. Yeah. I don't think that's right. I don't think we can do anything about it because we already signed a contract. We need to see what the contract says. But, okay. Say, take us for instance. We have our trash pickup at home, but we have our farm and we have electric meter. We don't pay for trash pickup, but we don't have trash. I mean, if we do, it's not very much. We need to clarify it and set some guidelines from the sounds of it. I don't pay any attention. Well, I can think of several different people that have several different locations, and I doubt if they have trash at each location. Right. If I go to one electric meter for all those locations I just mentioned, that I'll only pay trash one time. Because that's the way the computer sees it.
get to the visit. thing that I would be concerned about um, is our billing system. If we had all these different things happening and say, you know, would you allow this person who is a, has just one person in their household and their neighbor who has just one person in their household and between the two of them they only have the one trash can. You can allow them to okay and then so everything we don't Truthfully, know what we should have never gotten into this anyway. I mean they should be doing their billing and they can take care of this. I agree with that. It's the only business in town that you're here. Right. I love it. No matter whether you do your job or not. But does anybody know about the bigger cities? I mean, do other cities do that besides Stafford, Mexico, and us? My group in doesn't even own their trash They have like three different companies. I don't know how many they got, but I know they don't own it. I think they get a separate bill in the mail. I don't know. That's I, what, yeah. I can find out. I don't know. I mean, Matt well, Snyder. Yeah, you yeah. get a separate bill. Do you? Personally, that ought to be the way it is. Yeah. Hey, if you didn't get a bill, let's pick your up. Or yeah, why, why do we want to accept the. I mean, that's why I was complaining about that when we were signing. Yeah. It's the only business in town, you're guaranteed it. You have no risk. I can see someone moving out. They weren't paying their trash. They just pile it all up out by the alley, and there it sits. Yeah, I can see that. I don't know how bad that would get. But. And I can see if somebody wouldn't want to pay their bill, line it up, and you're going to serve my kind of tour. Can we talk to Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, can whole, you can get a long weekend, and that old dumpster's... Oh, yeah, they say ours, a dumpster ours is too, out, out in the country. Oh, so, yeah, you got two. I do, yeah. Out the short stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. People say, if I'm paying for it, I'm going to use it. But if I'm not going to, if I can get out of it, I'm not paying it. I'll take it wherever in the county right. or out the, down the road or wherever. So, that's probably the. Yeah, I don't know how big the complaint was, but. Well, I guess, I guess my motion right now would be to to take a better look at this, but also to know, I guess, how many locations, if they're billing us for each at the location, and then compare that to how many electric meters we have in town. Well, I mean, Donna takes care of who has trash on their bill and who doesn't, you know, well, so I'm people saying come is, in, she sets is, up their service. Is if they're charging us by the location. And no, we do it. No, we do it by our billing. We decide how much. How do pay. they bill us? They don't bill us. We figure our bill to them. Okay, and that's strictly by off what of, we bill. And how do you determine that? Is it by electric meter or is it by resident? Mm, I'd have to check with Donna to be sure, but it's by premise if they have services on. May not just be by electric if they okay. have a water but meter. And no I would agree with Kevin. Is if you own three properties and it's all under one electric meter, you should only be getting one trash service. If it's all under one electric meter, it's on the same pre premise. Not well, necessarily, like he's saying, if he has his. his like those are all on separate meters, aren't they? Yes. Currently. Oh, they all are? Yeah. They're all current electric meters separate. Separate. Okay. Yeah. Now, if Sorry. a building has a, an electric meter for a, a, a separate electric meter, say for the air conditioning, and the rest of it is on a commercial building, it would only be billed for that one premise, you know, the one time. They wouldn't get billed twice because they have two meters for that one building. Right. Well, I would like, like he's saying, though, with like his. If he's using the same dumpster for all three locations, four, or four, whatever, I don't understand why he'd be getting billed for four. What, I mean, but he's there, yeah, it doesn't matter what I live, they get paid by the pound, but. No, they don't get paid by the pound. No, no. I mean, they charge, get, at the landfill, they get charged by the ton. Right, they yeah. get charged by the ton of money. It's going to take the same amount of trash for me. Right. 
But now, I don't know, don't, Jonah can correct me if I'm wrong, but if you had a cold storage building and all you had was lights, no water, no sewer, no natural gas, they might not bill you. I don't know. I think that if you have any services on that constitutes occupied, as in an occupied residence or business, that's how they have established what it constitutes occupied. If you want to change that, then that's up to you guys. But from, I mean, Dina was here when I came in, in Mel, and that's how we understood that that's how we would charge for trash. Now, if somebody is gone for the winter, you know, we have some snowbirds that leave for the winter. So they call us and say, we're leaving for the winter. We don't charge them trash while they're gone. You know, so occupy. Okay, but how is a cold storage occupied in that scenario? A business is occupied. It's using, I, I mean, I'm, uh, but I mean, I'm just, I'm, I said that Kevin's for you guys to, I mean, somebody could make a case that it's not occupied, they're not generating any trash, you know. I understand that. So but I think we need to For us this. to know, how would we know whether it's just cold storage or not? Okay? Yeah. So if there's, if their service is being used, then that's considered occupied. So if you want to change that, then this needs to be more detailed. Okay. Like I said, I just said I would bring it to council so that you guys could consider it. If you guys are good with the way it is, then then we'll leave it where it lives. I just I was asked to raise the issue. But I think I'm hearing from most of the council that when this agreement is up, we need to look at getting out of the trash business. Well, I don't know. I'm afraid it would pile up. I mean, I'm going to pay my phone bill, my TV bill, before I pay my dress bill. I don't know. Not to mention my water. I mean, I wouldn't mind Troy and I or anybody that knows people out in the big city or other city. We do an investigation. Somebody ask. Yeah, I'll ask. Okay, but, but like the guy across the street that has all the cars, does he pay trash? I don't think he has. Well, I don't know. I'd have to look at his. I. That's occupied. I need to look at his account. I could not tell you that for sure. No. I am not in the accounts daily. You know, Donna is the one that really is familiar with each account and you know even at that you're going to have to look at the account to see who has what services on. I can't tell you whether I pay I've got three meters in my shop and I've got a dumpster and I don't know where I'm paying three trash bills or not. Oh if you were paying if it's just at your shop? Well it's just a shop and office. But it's yeah. on the same location. Yeah there's three different meters there. Yeah, but it's the same location. I don't know. We'd have to look. I think if you were paying three commercial um, bills, that you would know that. But if you pay them. <laughs> yeah, I'm not paying three commercial bills. So don't mistake me for that. No, I wasn't. I'm just saying three yeah. trash services. I only pay the 48 or whatever it's went to at the one. And, right. then, and then the little residentials are the 17 or whatever. And it, it all is. goes in one dumpster and they pick it up. Yeah, my house. Well, I've got one dumpster and that's where all the trash goes. But, to, but to me, if you had three pieces of property in town, like, you, like in that one area, you should only have to pay one trash service. You own them all. You're still paying a trash service, so you're still going to use it on it. I don't know why you should have to pay just for each location you have. Well, I understand that, but to me that, that doesn't honestly make sense. Why should you have to pay? You're still paying trash service, so you're still going to use it. So you ain't got to worry about it piling up, so to speak, but yet, why get paid for three different, why pay for three different locations when it's all going in the same dumpster that you own all three of? Do you pay a phone service at three different locations? Not the trailer park. Just sewer, you don't sewer electric, and trash, water.
I said it's better than old business. I think you're right. And take a look at it. Yeah. And do some questioning around on some other things.
we obviously we've, we've got advertising out there. We can try advertising in the Tribune, Great Bend Tribune, and the Pratt Tribune, and see if we can, you know, get anything from that. I don't know if we will or we won't. I guess it's worth the cost of the ad to try at least. Um, we don't have anyone here in the city that I'm aware of that is either willing or able to take it on. So. And he is continuing his education, so? He is, he is licensed, but his continuing education units are behind where he needs to be for his license to be active. Do we have an application for him? No, we don't. We can get one to Did he one practice as a lawyer prior to this? And yes, and just let it let it lapse because he wasn't practicing. And then what? What uh, did he practice in prior to? He was working for um, Boeing as a um, contracts manager. I think is is one of them. And I actually do have access to a copy of his resume that I'll get and look for. I'd like to see that. I would still say in the meantime we'll go ahead and advertise. Yeah, I agree. Don't you guys have a problem with that? No, I don't have a problem. You can't advertise it, but it's going inside the restaurant. Great Democrat. Yeah, I don't know. Great Democrat. Yeah, I don't know. Great Democrat. I will. Um, Normally I would say that couldn't be done. <laughs> 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 I will uh, get the rest of it, John, and have her over there. <laughs> I believe it's 
is what we were estimating. It wasn't a usage, it was a leak. Yeah. So what was their bill? Pardon me? What was their bill? It says in the letter it was over $1,700.
there's there's a couple of different Kansas averages um, depending on where who you talk to, whether it's uh, USD, USDA Rural Development or KWRA, and we, you know, we were we, we were about mid. Yeah, and we constantly have through the listserv people asking what's your rates, you know, because everybody's facing the same kind of things. Um, that rate study that we had done prior to this. Yeah. That doesn't give me a whole lot of faith in any of these rate studies well, that we're paying huge dollars to have done. The rate studies are based on your history. Well, so, I understand that, but they also yeah. took into account their quote-unquote drop of usage. And, and they said at the 1745 and the 558 that we would be more than covered, and that's before we even dropped the $750,000 principal payment on it before we actually finalized the note. And so, yet, I'm not to sure me, that's that a waste of money to do any yeah, hearing stuff. It was free. It was free. We didn't pay that. It's part of the, part of the initial. No, we could have the same thing done again, but our numbers haven't changed that much. Well, I was going to say, I don't have much faith in it. I, I mean, our numbers have changed, but we don't have enough history with the new numbers. You know, and, you know, I'm trying to show you what we have on the books for the expenses for that right. department. Well, that some of those expenses last longer than you know within that period of time. You know do, that there's so many variables that. But I agree. I think that you know we have to. It's it's served its purpose, but we need to re re look at what we have going on here. We have the numbers now for what our actual expenses are going to be. You know um, we know what. The extra things are that maybe we didn't know before. So yeah, I think we definitely need to to relook at this, and because it's close enough that even if we sold another two hundred or two thousand two hundred thousand gallons or whatever, it's it's still going to be too close to be comfortable to cover any kind of other stuff by the numbers that we have right now. Yeah. You know, what happens and, if we have a major water leak? Well, I mean, we well, have had several of them. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, Wouldn't these numbers this, change dramatically if we put water in our parks? No. This is... Price per gallon? This yeah, is yeah. by divided by what we've built. Okay, so if we build more, that number is going to go down. No, yeah, but the, I'm talking about our city parks. We, we run parks that water through the. We don't build water. We don't, you know, we don't bill ourselves for the water we use in the park. Oh, you so you're not even calculating it into this. No, that's not. That's 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 the water. Sold. You come she's, up? she's keeping track of the water. Bill. Yeah. Pumped. Buys buys yeah. the water bill. No. So this has no account into what's actually been pumped. This is what it costs for what we have built. Well, then in all actuality, that number is going to be tremendously high. Yeah. Yeah, there's one you don't collect. Because you're not counting. No, no, you're this not is counting. what we build, not what we collect. No, that's not what I mean. But what we build. But yeah. not not only that, you're you're forgetting the all the water that goes on the parks that's not being accounted for here. Plus, you're not forgetting the 20% that we lose in the system between what is actually pumped and what's actually metered. Whether it's billed or not, whether it's metered. Swimming pool. So, you could easily add another 25% to that. Swimming pool, down a square, square, down a little more. But like I said, the, the biggest the thing is... park, are we still shipping water down there? Yeah, but they're, they're, they're still so by. They're by. I mean, what floored me was the 20% that we lose between what we pump and what we actually need. And actually, it's like the last, our water usage was 23%. The year before that was like 14 For whatever reason, it really took it down. Uh, I mean, that is forcing me. Uh, I can easily say yeah, I got half of it. 2012, it was a little over 14%. 2011, 
Later. Uh,